Well, what a fascinating day today. Um, today is all about rules and laws. And to use the old Al, Lurry, Al Murray joke, the old pub landlord, where would we be without rules? France. Um, well, actually, France is not a bad place to go and live. Lots of lovely wine and fabulous cheese and quite an interesting philosophy and attitude towards life. So rules and laws and living without them. Of course, the natural assumption for everybody as soon as you say that is the conceptual idea of, of anarchy. But of course, for, for anarchy to, to actually reign, um, it's not about the rules, is it? it? It's about our relationship with our other human beings. And so the Tao encourages us not to necessarily break the rules, but to, to go with the flow, to live in a place and a space where there is no requirement for, for rules to exist. Now, wouldn't that be great? That sounds like a truly magnificent place and space to be in if everybody is just in harmony with each other uh, and there were no need for any rules to exist. So <clears throat> philosophically, what has that meant for me today? That has meant that I have concentrated today on where I place my energy. Um, all the time that our energy lives within us and we're not connected or respectful or being connected to the world around us, then of course, if we believe that everything available to us can be ours then therefore then we need a rule that says people don't need to thieve anything or to take anything or to steal because the assumption may be that just they can have whatever they want but when our focus and our energy is with other people then there is no rule to to say there's no need for the rule to say thou shalt not steal because why would you because that would be disrespecting someone else it would not be living and being gracious and being part of the rich tapestry that is life and community and society. So I've thought a lot today, for those of you that listen to this who have been involved in coaching or are involved in NLP or any sort of change work or have read uh, maybe the work of Don Beck um, <coughs> or Claire Graves when we're looking at maybe value systems. Um, today feels very reminiscent of, for those of you that have read the work of Don Beck, would be uh, a values level seven system. Um, for those of you that dabble in other things, it, it's about entering into a place and a space and if we're deliberately focused on wanting to ensure that there is a win, 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 that there's a win for me, there's a win for all the people that I am connected with and the world around me and those that are connected in my conversation or my being or my actions and there's a win for the greater community and the environment that I'm part of then then actually there probably isn't any need for for rules that say you must do this because those things will occur very naturally because we want them to there certainly would be fewer rules that turn around and go, you must not do this, because once again, we just naturally wouldn't want to do things that would automatically disrespect other people. So how have I interpreted today? Um, whilst initially when I read and considered the idea of the relationship with rules and the fact that straight away, as I talked to a few people when I said, let's ditch all the rules, they went, oh, anarchy would reign. And of course, will it, does it? Um, maybe it will if, if everybody is focused on a me and a mine and a sense of righteousness. Whereas when we focus on an us and a we and an ours and our relationship, not only with uh, just the other people in our life, but the places and being in harmony with those things, then, then actually a natural sense of, of what should be something 
far greater than the conceptual idea of right and wrong, which is traditionally based on someone else's judgment of a set of rules, someone else's judgment of um, a sense of relationship. And so recognising uh, and echoing some of the other lessons of the Tao is that, that as we see ourselves in all the people around us and we connect with that, then why would we overtly need to live by a set of rules? Why don't we just live in peace and grace and harmony? So today has been actually an incredibly peaceful day, even though I've spent all day doing what I do best, which is breaking other people's rules. So I will see you all soon.